Are you tired of people lagging so much it looks like they're hacking? You tired of not being able to even shoot your bow? Tired of all the lag spikes causing you to lag back and die? And worst of all, do you dread being stuck in a waiting queue for an hour? Well then you should probably get off your computer and go do something productive. Just kidding. But really, it's it's been annoying me now that I've been gotten back into Minecraft and I can't even play on a server because it's lagging so hard and I rage quit every time. But this lag issue has been going on for a good while. And ever since quarantine hit, there have been multiple accounts across various platforms of people experiencing unheard of lag. People in the chat spamming lag, 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 as well as other not so nice things. But the question is, where has all the lag been coming from? If you happened to be on Hypixel near the beginning of it, you would have likely been told that the lag was coming from a new update that was added. However, if you've joined late to the game like me, you'll have noticed that the lag has continued. And if anything, it's only gotten worse as time's gone on. Put it simply, I think the undoubtable and unquestionable cause of this lag has been the massive addition of players that have joined the servers now that quarantine has made people stay at home. Servers are being pushed to their limits, only regularly supposed to host several thousand people max. Servers like Mineplex are being forced to host several hundred if not thousands more. People are being shoved into waiting queues because the server simply cannot handle that many players at one time. And besides the Minecraft servers themselves, Think about how many people are online for other sorts of purposes. The internet traffic has gone up exponentially as people have been forced to do online class and have plenty of free time to use things such as the internet. If you've been noticing the drop in video quality on YouTube's platform, it's no accident. YouTube itself has announced this, saying that less HD usage will reduce the amount of stress on the website. Before even going on Minecraft servers, you can see just from the amount of people on that the limits of the server are being pushed. While you may not notice a drop in your frame rate, you will notice a significant amount of lag when it comes to hitting other players in the game. Which can be really annoying because the whole point of the game is to smack people with your sword. While some of this lag may be caused by your internet connection, and your relative location to the server, which can be measured by how much ping you get on each server. Unfortunately, it is inevitable to get some amount of lag during the quarantine. Thankfully, I have found some ways to reduce the lag and better your experience overall on the Minecraft servers during this time. Unfortunately, these are not permanent solutions and they will vary from time to time. But the fact of the matter is that there is no permanent solution to the lag during this time and that's just the way it's going to be. One thing that has definitely helped is to look at how many players are on the server at any given time that you want to be on it. If it's the max number of people allotted on the server, then you probably shouldn't try. While I was recording this clip, there were 5,000 less than the max amount of players online and you'll notice that I have nearly zero lag when it comes to hitting that player. Although your Minecraft's performance isn't necessarily related to server lag, it can be a source of it. If you haven't already, I highly recommend downloading Optifine for whatever version of Minecraft you're playing. It's extremely quick, simple, and easy, and what it does is it allows you to change the video settings of your Minecraft in order to maximize frame rate, performance, and reduce lag in general. Personally, I like to play on 6 render distance and turn smooth lighting off. Although having no smooth lighting can make shadows look a little odd, it really reduces the stress on your Minecraft when it comes to loading in chunks, and loading in chunks can be part of what lags your server performance. I will be leaving a link to Optifine in the description of this video, as well as a link to a free internet performance test, which can help you to see how well your internet is running at any given time. Knowing whether your internet will be running well or not can also contribute a lot to whether you will be lagging or not on a server. And finally, I found a bit of a solution to the Hypixel waiting queue. From what I can tell, it seems that the place in line Hypixel puts you in when you join the waiting queue is entirely random. I've been number 300, 1000, heck even 5000. And although you could buy a special rank on the server in order to skip the waiting queue, 
A solution I found is to simply disconnect from the server and rejoin again. While it may not skip the waiting queue, you could be significantly further in line and ready to get on the server. Sometimes it has skipped the waiting queue altogether and I've been right on the server and ready to go. What are your thoughts on this lag problem? Do you think that servers should be allowing so many people to join at the cost of so much lag? Do you have any tips of your own on how to reduce the server lag? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. If you hated it, don't forget to leave a dislike. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and stay safe.